Well, hi, and welcome to another LRCC Soundbite. I wanted to take a little moment out this week to tell you about some of the things that I don't know. A bit weird. Sometimes people can look at us in churches and think we know everything. And certainly it can be that. It can seem like that for those of us that wear one of these things, a collar. Um, we're, and even in the church, we're assumed to know everything and be able to answer any question. I'm afraid to say that's not the case and it will never be the case. So if you've ever thought that that's what this little piece, uh, this collar means, well, I'm afraid it, you know, reality, it's a short piece of plastic. Um, on occasion, I've even heard of vicars who, when they've forgotten to bring one, got an old ice cream tub and used that to make one. Anyway, you would think that one of the things that I would be able to tell you about and know all about would be God. Actually, explaining God is one of those things that I, I can't do. I don't think anybody can. I can tell you some of the concepts and things that help me when I think about God, but God, who he really is, how he works, how he thinks. I'm sorry, but God is too big for me to get my head around. You may have heard people talk about God the Father, God the Son, otherwise known as Jesus, and God the Holy Spirit. And then in the next breath, they talk about God being one, one God. But hold on a minute, I just mentioned three, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. How does that work? People have tried to explain even that in all sorts of different ways, using different similes or metaphors. Some have said it, it yeah, maybe it's like viewing God from three different angles. Well, that works to explain that we think of God as ruler, uh, God the Father as ruler, God the Son as saviour, God the Holy Spirit as our helper. But it doesn't work for some of the other things. Others have said it's like three people in a relationship so close that they merge. But that doesn't explain the, the separation of ruler, saviour, helper, does it? Jesus coming to earth and praying to God the Father makes it feel like they're separate individuals, and it, but it doesn't explain one God. <laughs> so to put it most simply, God is, is just beyond our capacity to understand. And for me, that's where faith steps in, because I don't need to understand it. I just know it to be true. Jesus once said that the best kind of faith to have is faith like a little child. Think about it. A child will ask a question and then accept your answer. Well, <laughs> most of the time. Faith that accepts God for who he is, is amazing. It doesn't stop us asking questions. And in fact, God encourages us to ask questions. You know, when we decide to follow Jesus, we begin a journey of exploration, learning more about God, learning more about ourselves, about our world, about each other. And I see church as a place where we're with others taking the same journey that we are and we learn as we go. Maybe we're at different stages of that journey, but we're all together as we learn. Sometimes, you know, we'll be amazed by something we never knew before. Other times we might be challenged by something we assumed that turns out not quite to be right. This week, why not try and find out something new about God for yourself? You know, when we meet as LRCC, people bring their questions and we see if we can figure out together how we might be able to start to answer them. It'd be great if you wanted to join us, uh, you know, two till five this afternoon outside number 44 Lindbergh Road or 515 uh, at Inspire Suffolk just across the road from us. It'd be great to see you. Of course, you can always email me and I'll always do my best to give you my thoughts. I hope you have a great week. I'll see you next time.